So welcome back to uh, part two of the Let's Play video here. Uh, we're still playing some uh, Minecraft here, and uh, uh, this is probably still part of the introduction of my gaming channel. But um, just to give kind of an introduction, what's going to be on my gaming channel? Definitely not only um, Minecraft videos. I don't know what happened here. <laughs> it's the usual. I have no idea what happened, but whatever. Uh, what the content is going to be on my channel, what's going to be, uh, I'm probably going to buy a capture card, an HD PVR for my console, uh, I'm playing on Xbox at the moment, and uh, yeah, I'm probably going to buy a capture card for that, and then uh, I'll be able to post some content of the latest game that are games that are coming out in November, uh, such as um, Black Ops, Assassin's Creed Brotherhood, which is going to be pretty awesome in my opinion, uh, there's a new Need for Speed as well, so uh, I guess a lot of new games. And uh, yeah, I'll, I'll try to post some stuff uh, from that, and it's pretty much gonna be a multi, multi-game channel. So not only about Call of Duty or not only about Minecraft or anything. It's gonna be uh, a lot of different games. Well, I'll try, at least. Yeah. But uh, right now I'm just making, while well, I'm expanding some stuff here on my city, and I think I'm gonna actually make a water slide here, which is going straight into the water. I think it looks cool. I know a JX23 on YouTube made a water slide in his video. He did it in, he did it in single player though. And in multiplayer water slides uh, are not as good because they glitch a bit. But uh, I think I need some more woods first and I think I need to start it from the actual sea and not from like the top because I won't be able to go um, down slowly. Well I don't know. I don't know how I'm gonna make it but yep. Uh, you can also suggest uh, what you want to see on the channel. Uh, I mean what you want me to see me doing in Minecraft and uh, if you have any projects I can start off with or stuff like that but um, yeah I'm gonna try and make a, a water slide uh, and I'm also still making that mine shaft or that I show you in the show to in the first part and uh, yep um, that's pretty much it of what I'm gonna do at the moment and so if you want me to speed up some parts and you think they're not interesting and stuff I just go ahead and tell me and I'll try to skip some parts. Uh, I think I'm going to make my water slide probably go up to over the bamboo, like after the bamboo. And I might start it there. I don't have that much wood with me actually. As you saw, I had a lot and a lot of wood in my safe. It took me really long to cut out down all those trees. I mean, it really takes quite a long time. But I'm going to make some, I'm going to take some dirt. I can't see anything at the moment, so uh, you're not the only one, in case you're wondering. And I'm gonna start basically. I can't, I don't know. Oh, yeah, I am. Okay, there you go. Kind of made a thing here. <laughs> so I can start off with something. I'm not sure if I'm perfectly aligned or anything. It's pretty hard to see from far away. So I'm just gonna go ahead and make one and then make it slowly go up. I'm not sure. Let's do three and then go up one maybe. That should be good, I guess. Oops, I fell again. I'll need to make a... like that, so I can climb up again. I'll do one, two... Uh, well, actually, I'll do four and then one up. I think that's pretty good. One, two, three. Oh yeah, should be good. Yeah, I think I'm I'm well aligned with the, the top part. Um, what else can I talk about? <laughs> so uh, pretty much, if you want to have me talk about stuff uh, about Minecraft, or if you have any uh, questions on how to build stuff, because I know a lot of you uh, only played single player and not multiplayer, and I pretty much will never be able to get up there. But I know uh, a few of you never played multiplayer a lot, uh, play a lot of single player, and that's what we see a lot on uh, in YouTube. I made three and then one up because otherwise I'll never make it up there. So I'll just continue like that. But uh, yeah, a lot of people have played uh, single player and not multiplayer, and there's quite a few extra features in multiplayer. Uh, what well, you have also servers, which are basically you get unlimited everything, so you get all your resources or all your stuff, you get it. Uh, as much as you want to, although this is not the uh, this server is not like that. It's a survival mode, so it's exactly the same as multi uh, single player. I mean, except it's in multiplayer, so you can't really uh, 
have unlimited everything. So that's why I'm building this in wood. Otherwise, if you're on a, a building server, you can you can pretty much create a, like all different colors and stuff like that. Uh, actually, I just made it. I think I uh, apparently estimated it pretty well because uh, it's pretty much perfect. So although I did make three and at one, and I started with four. Well, I don't know. You know, I just tried, and uh, like that looks pretty good. So I'm just gonna build off this, and first I'm gonna get some wood. And uh, let's set my home here, so I don't need to walk every time. So there you go. I'll just go through this house now. This is Hop's house. Hop's his house. And. Um, yeah, I already showed you all these houses in part one. I didn't even notice I showed those twice. I'm not sure. I think I showed them twice. Uh, <laughs> so, yeah. You'll see them again. Um, oh, I still actually had some wood. I, my inventory is pretty much always full, which is annoying because there's a lot of stuff I probably will never need, but I still keep them in there in case I need them. I'm just going to get some more wood. And yeah, as you can see, I have a lot of wood and a lot of glass. Uh, I didn't show you my save, by the way, but uh, pretty much for that wood, I took about a day of getting it, or, or a few hours at least, of cutting down trees. And uh, there's like, well, the map in the server is, is ginormous, it's it's huge, it's a huge map, and uh, so, uh, yeah, you have a lot of space to uh, cut down trees and stuff. And I always left one, uh, I mean, I always replanted the, with saping. By the way, if you don't know how to plant a tree, let me just show you. Basically, when you cut down the tree, you get this, this green stuff. And uh, if you, uh, you can do that. Um, but if you, oh, that doesn't work in multiplayer apparently. But if you plant those, if you take those and you just right click, it's gonna plant a tree. And if you put torches around it, it's gonna build faster. Or at least one is enough, pretty much. But it's gonna build faster. You can remove it once it it's grown or built. A tree doesn't really build itself, but I mean, you know what I'm saying. So, yeah, pretty much uh, every time I cut down a tree, I replant it simply because I don't want uh, there to be. Well, it's kind of uh, like in the real world, you can kind of compare it to that. So, yeah, don't just uh, take down all the trees and don't replant. That's just not good, you know. <laughs> so, uh, although uh, I'm not your mom, obviously, but I'm not here to give you any lessons. <laughs> but, anyways. I'm just gonna go on with my water slide here and I hope it won't be too steep uh, or I don't know how you say that exactly that it goes down too quickly I hope it will work and I hope that the boat will not break every every time I try to go on because that happened in single player ones although I do not play a lot of single player to be honest uh, if you're wondering simply because I think multiplayer is way more entertaining uh, yeah I like multiplayer way more than sing, uh, single player. You can interact with other people and you can start building, well, start way bigger projects. If you're like three or something, uh, you can start and build like a, a way bigger uh, project and like huge stuff sometimes. But uh, yep, uh, after I'm done with this, I'll show you if I have time still, uh, like a few other cities or at least maybe one other city. Um, and uh, it, it's hard for me to always, I keep on confusing what I showed in part 1 and what I showed in part 2. Not sure. So sometimes I forget. So if I show you things twice, I'm really sorry. Probably boring, but uh, I don't even notice I sh uh, show things twice. So yeah. <laughs> I know it's pretty, uh, pretty uh, embarrassing that I forget that easily. Oh, I'm out of wood. I'm just going to make a day again here. Um, because uh, it's easier to make videos in day because then you can actually see stuff and I know some people uh, pretty much have videos and it's nice most of the videos and then it's really hard for me to well it's really hard to see the video pretty much ah there you go um, so yep it's day again now and uh, yeah it's better for uh, for making videos in day, to be honest. So, uh, well, I think I'm gonna. It's getting pretty boring here, so uh, I'm not gonna continue forever. But, um, yep, I'll just quickly show you one more city. Uh, 
this thing is glitching as usual. There you go. Um, I'll show you one more city, uh, which is going to be, well, I think I showed you Andal, which is basically the main city, although it was night when I showed you. Um, so that's pretty much not so nice, but you can't see anything. But uh, I'll just teleport to Andal right now, and as you can see, it needs to draw here. But uh, I kind of, well, it's hard for me to know where I have to go to. Well, all those torches, ooh. but uh, I think I need to go, this is the wall, so I need to go out that way, then get out somewhere here, yeah, there you go. It's pretty much annoying to wait to wait for everything to draw. As you can see, th that's my mind, by the way, you can see there with the torches. You can see all the things on the ground here that are happening, pretty, uh, pretty amazing. Um, yeah, it's taking quite a long time, especially when I'm recording. This the god mode here. I'm walking on the air. And uh, ah, finally, okay. So I'll show you quickly, uh, well, my mine as well. This is uh, pretty much my mine I made. I don't use it that much anymore. This is kind of a back door, by the way, but uh, it's really, really big. It has corridors that go on forever. This is a huge mine shaft, as you can see. I'll just uh, jump in the water. There you go. And it's, it's pretty big, <laughs> and it has really long corridors that go, um, so I won't have time to show you all this, but uh, I think I just went up to 10 minutes in the video right now, not sure, um, yeah, 10 minutes, so I've got a little timer at 10 minutes, it alerts me, and I'm probably crashing at the moment. So kind of welcome back here, I pretty much crashed because of those teleporters, it happens really often, it's kind of a bug in the game. Uh, I think, well, maybe not a bug, but it just happens quite often. So, I just quickly crashed and uh, showing you this uh, small town here. It's more kind of a village, but it's getting expanded, you might say. Um, so, uh, yeah, this city or town uh, is owned by this guy, Fred Barb. So, yep, and I'll just show you around quickly. He has a few fancy stuff, and uh, it's not that big, but it's still really cool. So uh, he has a kind of a, a tree fountain here in the middle. He has a, a lot of different houses and uh, stuff. He has the public chests and stuff like that. And uh, this is sewer water, it's pretty much dirty, but you, you know, you gotta have some imagination, you might say. It's got a lot of different uh, buildings, you can see. This is the main entrance. You can rent rooms in his, uh, in his kind of hotel thing, but uh, he pretty much has a huge alley here, well, not huge, but this alley is pretty nice. I mean, he made it out of gold blocks and lava and water and steel and obsidian, or I have no idea how to pronounce that rock, this rock that I have in my hand. Uh, I don't know how to pronounce it, I think it's obsidian or something like that, but anyways, it's hard rock and it takes about 30 seconds to mine with a diamond pick, so it really takes a long time. And uh, here he has kind of a sewer system where all the water goes through. Pretty cool. He has a cactus forest or jungle. And uh, there are even more cactus. There he has some uh, bamboo. And uh, I think uh, there is another city. Not sure what city that is because I've never been in there, but there's a lot of fire there at least. That's for sure. And uh, yeah, this is, I don't know, this is a big mine shaft, I guess. Or big hole with nothing in it. And. <laughs> As you can see, some uh, some really mature people have been here. Um, so, yep, that's it for this city. It's called Almond Palms or something like that. But it's pretty cool. I like it. And uh, it's uh, it's pretty... It's not that big, but it's still really cool. So, uh, yep, that's it for this city. And uh, I'll show you probably in part 3 some other cities as well. Uh, if uh, I have time or if you're not interested at all in showing me stuff and you only want me to build stuff, uh, just comment down below and... Uh, I'll see, but uh, remember that I make a lot of videos on one day and then I post them not all on one day, so I don't always see all the comments of the previous parts. So, yep. Uh, so that's it for this video. I think I'm going to end it here because I'm getting pretty close to 15 minutes, I think. Uh, so that's it for this video. Thanks a lot for watching, and I'll see you guys, uh, I'll see you guys in part three, I guess. So, uh, peace.